What's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard. You guys just got your asses saved by Anthony. I was gonna sit down in my car today and just speak to you guys in Japanese, yapping about what's going on. Car sounds good. McLaren is literally a rocket ship, man. This thing is a beast of a car. Insane driving experience. Well, well, well. Look who I caught out here. Mr. Driver Mod himself. Still haven't cleaned it from Arkansas. It's been two months. Really? Go look at the front of it. This guy, man. Destroyed it. Cracked. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. That have any with PPF on it? Oh, that, that has PPF on it. Okay. That's in the PPF. I just dropped 10 grand on a supercharger, so. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy's flexing on me, bro. I saw the post though. The red car. Yeah, yeah. This car don't need a supercharger. I'll be one of the first ones to get it. Get it installed. I'll try and do it myself. Chassis mounted tow hooks. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Is that the same place where you did the unveiling? Revealing. I'm just making up words here at this point, man. Revealing. I don't know why I get so nervous when I take this camera around, but I'm like stuttering and talking like a idiot. It's so awkward to like yeah. to do this. But somebody All of the carnards and stuff on that car make it look so freaking aggressive for a Mustang. You guys know me, I'm not even a big Mustang guy. The asshole behind us was honking, like what the f you honking for? This guy's wild, bro. Jesus. It starts f***ing raining. That thing was clean. Uninvited. You try to get on it in Daltona, but I was like, what the hell, this guy? <laughs> Answering fire with fire. But I had the camera in my hand, I was like, I don't want to crash. Like battery? Yep. yep. How much did that cost? 400 bucks. Four batteries, they like to leak acid, yeah. corrode, all that. You don't have to worry about that. But everything that's done to it, you, other than the battery, you can't see the oil yeah. lines on the back of the heads. We're sending the wrong data. It doesn't modify the shock or ride height data. Drag right. mode and drag mode both modify. So those values that you guys are trying to get like in the ECU, those are like presets, or is it something that you guys can figure yourself? The OEM vehicle dynamics module, which is the suspension control module, mm -hmm. has data that it broadcasts all the time. It pays attention to what driver mode the car's in, and it has to say, oh, I see, you're in track mode. It lets all the other modules know that I am also in track mode, okay. and I'm making the adjustments it expects to see. So we have to act as if we are the OEM okay. module. Like it's telling it that it has those settings, but in reality, it's a software thing. Right. Understand. Ride height data and the shock feedback data all have to react to what driver mode you're in. Okay. And instead of just saying, oh, my ride height voltage is this, and broadcasting that out, it actually makes changes to it based on those driver modes. It has like a heartbeat messaging that lives on the bus. Yeah. And at first we thought, oh, we'll just broadcast the heartbeat and we'll be fine. Like fake it? Yeah, <laughs> but we have to respond to those driver modes. And if we don't respond in like under, it's like 30 milliseconds, it says driver mode unavailable. So either I'm not catching the driver mode change and broadcasting the correct data, hopefully it's something as simple as that. And we don't have to send different vehicle data because that would be a whole nother thing. What's the point? I kill myself with the wide variety of stuff I do. The track content is more fun for me. Really, I shouldn't even post those videos. That kills your, yeah. your growth. It's like, because it's kind of like a division between like a educational channel and then you're trying to add like enthusiast things so then it's like a clash. I get that. You got merch merch. The only affiliate codes I have are Steeda, so all my suspension. Mm -hmm. Solar performance for the throttle bodies. Anti-gravity with the batteries. Yeah, Where'd you yeah. get those? I just go copy the link. Yeah. This is what I got. You're gonna pay the same price whether you pay Amazon and I'm getting paid or not. So yep. we're gonna get them. Might as well buy use them. the link. The problem I have with affiliate codes is if you have a lot of them, then when the person clicks on your link tree, they get overwhelmed. I have someone local that makes make, makes a couple shirts, I and then I have my track day shirts. I've got so many like ideas, and it's just like I need somebody else to manage that. To stuff. your point, though, all the guys are successful. We're saying that you should just steal ideas. So like the ideas I took, I stole them. Like I got like the always Porsche was this always Miata. I you can replace make it. Anything. Yeah, like like for me, like <laughs> like people that are true enthusiasts for the GT350. If I did that, you can make all those and be original. But you know, take an idea. I've been trying to make designs yeah, every day. It's hard because you know, but it's a lot of work. And then filming a video, a 20 minute job will take you an hour. And then editing another. The filming and the editing is a grind, bro. For a ride with the oh, Andrews, you just traded it. I want to see his fucking new car, bro. I'm fucking gonna miss it again, man. Have you seen any pictures of it? No. 
I don't want to ask him and be like, yo. Him and Charlie are the guys who convinced me to get this car. Because, I mean, honestly, I was going to get a Huracan, but everybody has Huracans. And I was like, let me, you know, let me just get something different. Dropping it up here. Anthony got his car checked out. Just wanted to get out, like I said. Stuck in the house for the whole week. Also, guys, remember the new merch came out last week. I have some pretty cool designs and more coming. This guy's rushing me. My car's warming up, man. It's fine. Car's not warmed up, but it's fine. Let's get out of here. Jesus Christ. That was fun. I got to go out. I put like maybe 20 or 30 miles in the car. What I wanted to do earlier today was make a video of me just, you know, kind of talking to you guys. What's been on my mind lately? This is hard to do. A lot of people don't realize how hard it is to vlog. A lot of things going on. I want to move. I want to move because I realized that living far away from everything puts a lot of strain on me. A lot of strain on the car. I learned a big lesson with my previous car. I was driving way too much, going to all of these events. The problem is my girlfriend just got a new job at a hospital, and which is pretty far from the city. It's kind of throwing a wrench in my plans. I spoke with her, hopefully figure something out. Like I cannot be driving from my house all the way to Orlando just to meet up with the guys. And I want to keep getting you guys quality content. If you haven't noticed, I've kind of stopped doing a lot of the drives. The guys that do the drives once a week live really far from where I live and I can't drive an hour just to hang out with people and then drive around. If I do that, this car will have thousands of miles so fast. So I've been keeping a low profile, just staying at home. I want to get more videos of drives, but they have to be well planned out. There's a lot of drama going on in the Orlando car community. I was in like five, six different WhatsApp groups and there was like people arguing all the time, all of this drama. So I ended up leaving all of the groups and that's part of the reason why you see me not driving around with a bunch of supercars that often anymore. I'm kind of out of the loop just kind of like my own little monk mode. I'll go out once in a while, but I'm not gonna be driving out to every single show, every single meet, just to hang out with people. There's a lot of shallow people. There's a lot of people, materialistic people. They don't only care about the car you have, and they're not really trying to create like the social interactions that I was looking for. I really just wanted to have a community of cool people to drive with and make cool content with. I realized that it wasn't working out for me in the groups that I was in at least. A lot of the people didn't want to participate. A lot of them were focused on their own content creation and they didn't want to collaborate. I'm just doing my own thing. I have a few people that I feel are reliable I hang out with and those guys are the guys that I'm gonna start making more content with some of them have supercars some of them don't I don't care what car people have I rather have really strong connections with people that's the main reason why I made this channel I made this channel because guys like Rob Ferretti Shradman, DDE really inspired me to start making content and grow. I just want to help other people do the same thing, inspire, even if I inspire only one or two people to do it, to go out and chase their dreams because I guarantee it's worth it, even though it does come with a lot of drama. A lot of people don't realize how much drama there is in the car community. And me being one of the youngest people in the group with the supercar, and still seeing like grown ass 50, 60 year old men arguing over all kinds of nonsense really kind of like threw me off. And I decided that it would be better for me if I just separated myself and just did my own content. I also found myself with a lot of people who were creating content, they wanted my support and they wanted me to shout them out and me to post their stuff and me to leave comments, but they weren't reciprocating. So a lot of those people I kind of cut off. I'm not gonna be like trying to collaborate with people who don't value my time and value the effort that I'm putting into what I'm doing. Anyways guys, I'm yapping here. I promised you guys I was gonna yap today. Anthony kind of saved you guys from the major yap session I was gonna give you, but I still ended up yapping. I really do appreciate all of the support. Tomorrow I'm going to an event. I'm doing a podcast with some other car enthusiasts. That should be fire. You guys stay tuned for that video. And I really do appreciate all the support. I'm yapping, my girlfriend's calling me, so I'm gonna cut this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.